I'm Kate Edmondson and I'm the Paper Conservator at The Call Told. In 2020, we were able to buy a VSC 8000, which is a video spectral comparator, a machine that was originally developed to examine passports and banknotes to detect any fakes or forgeries. But it has been used for a good few years now for the examination of drawings. The first opportunity we had to use the machine was when we looked at the group of Parma Giannino drawings for this exhibition. We were curious to see if there's any further information we could find out about the drawings, particularly those drawings that were stuck down or laid down onto secondary supports where it was impossible to see the verso of the sheets. In Head of a Young Woman, looking to the right, we noticed on the lower left of the drawing there were a few faint lines showing through the paper just visible across her neck and that led us to question whether there was a sketch on the back of the sheet. By viewing the drawing in UV light, the ink absorbs the light and appears darker and more opaque. The UV light also revealed more clearly the marks on the back of the sheet, the slightly tapered marks resembling ink strokes from a pen. Turning the drawing clockwise by 90 degrees, the jumbled mass of curved lines transform into the profile of a bearded man. The sketch on the verso bears a similar resemblance to a drawing in red chalk of a man in profile held in the Royal Collection at Windsor. We also had a question on why we could see a very faint dark grey shadow or mark in the centre of the drawing coronation of the Virgin. Like the other drawing we just looked at, this drawing had also been adhered to a secondary piece of paper. Again, using various light sources, for example, transmitted light, where we shone light through the drawing, a very faint shadow of black lines were revealed on the right-hand side. Combining transmitted light with infrared, two things happened. Firstly, the brown ink of the drawing disappeared. This is characteristic behaviour of an iron gall ink. Secondly, the black lines on the back of the sheet absorbed the IR light and appeared darker. And now we can really see what that sketch is. The sketch of a standing male with outstretched arm. And we can say that this anatomical male study does relate to other similar drawings by Palma Giannino. Through working with this equipment, we have been able to discover drawings that have been hidden for years. Using nothing more than multiple light sources, we have been able to view these sketches again.